Welcome to SCP Unity. All right, let's do this. Player name, Fat Boy. <laughs> I apologize in advance because I am doing 2560 by 1440, and this is 1920 by 1080, along with high graphics, the highest you can get, and low shadows. So hopefully, I won't burn out my graphics. Okay, so we're waking up. I'm guessing we are D class because I've been reading uh, some of the uh, lore of the game uh, over the past two years, and it seems like we're waking up from like blunt force trauma because he touched his mouth or she. I don't know though. Oh, that's lovely. All right, we are in the game. I got no idea. Oh no, one seven three. Is he in here? You can quick save at any time with F5. Thank you for that. Hello? Peanut, are you in here? Nope, he's not. Ooh, SCP-173 document. All right, you guys can um, read through all this. The most important parts are the highlighted areas. When SCP-173 is left unobserved and line of sight is broken by a conscious being, the object becomes animate. So basically, a weeping angel, except ten times worse. Also, he looks horrifying, even worse than the uh, base model. However, the object is extremely hostile and will attempt to kill any human that enters its containment chamber if left unobserved. Oops, I think I already did that. Also, my hair's in my mouth. Plah! Need a haircut. Hello? SCP-173? You home? Oh, someone spilled strawberry jam onto the floor. Brilliant. What do I do? Four nine, isn't that the plague doctor? Alright, F five. No. Hello. Oh Jesus! Please do not go in through that door. That actually caught me off guard. I was like, huh? I bet SCP one seven three is gonna be behind that door, and I was right. Is he still there? I can't. I, I can't get out. I can't get around him. He's blocking the door. Also, he's more hideous looking than the original. I got an idea. I need to open that door. And then immediately blink. Come on, buddy. I don't know how far he teleports. Ah, God! <laughs> I don't know why I tried to turn away. Whoops! My fault. All right, round two. He's not here this time. Oh, fancy that! All right, where's this way? Core room. Uh, SCP-650 containment chamber. What's SCP-650? Save. I cannot see. Oh god. Is that- Oh, oh god! That's Larry! That's that's that's, that, 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 that's Radical Larry. Oh my god, that's Radical Larry from Markiplier's stream. Oh god. Oh god, Radical Larry, go away! Radical Larry, please don't! Oh no. I'm trapped. Oh god, I'm trapped. Oh god, I'm trapped. Oh god, I'm trapped. Where is he? Oh god! Oh god, I'm out of stamina. Oh god, I have to deal with you too? Uh, where's the door? Where's the door? Where's the door? What's the door? Oh god, that was close. Come on, go away, dude. 
Leave me alone, Larry! Nope. Alright, you know what? I'm just gonna scoot around him. Oh god. Oh god, don't get caught in the juice! Oh no, that's locked! Did he leave? He left! Oh my god, he left! Oh, I do not trust this room. What if I don't look? I know this room. I'm not looking. It's the mannequin, wasn't it? I remember it from Mark's stream. I'm not looking. Oh, there it is. SCP-650 document. Oh, this is the... Yeah, this is the mannequin. Okay. So, I can't go this way because it's locked, and I don't want to go in there because of the SCP in there. Also, I sprinted through this area without looking. I, like, a... F oh. That is bad. He thinks I might be in trouble. Ah, hi, buddy. Don't mind me. <laughs> That's what I call nice strategy. Oh, I went through this way. Okay, yeah, 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 yeah. This is the decontamination. So I need to go back. There's another uh, door I could go through. So hopefully Radical Larry does not pop his face in. We're going to the core room. Oh! Oh! Um... Yeah! What is this? I don't want to know. I got no idea what this is. Is this a flight route? Looks like it. Alright. Making progress. Slowly but surely. Alright. This looks promising. What is this? A intercom? Hello? Hello, I need help! Can anyone hear me? Hello? Nothing. Oh, yeah! Yeah, this looks lovely. What the hell is this? It looks like some kind of, um, office space. You know? There's another radio here. Hello? Can anyone speak with me? No? Okay. Uh, okay, what's the point of being here exactly? Is there, like, anything important? Like, uh, documents or story elements? Right, this door's locked. That one is locked? Yeah, it's locked. What do I need to be here for? Is there, like, a point to this? Alright, it looks like, uh, Peanut isn't here. So let's go this way. Ah, oh, the core room. Hmm, anything on the computer? Hey, look, it's my channel. Be sure to subscribe. <laughs> uh, SCP-131 Containment Chamber, SCP-1762 Containment Chamber, and Staff Offices Sublevel 2. I think I kind of get it. So this is the center of the entire map, and I think we came this way, right? No, we haven't. So there's a whole map to explore. I have a lot of work to do, don't I? Alright, is this where I came in? Yeah, this is where I came in. So that's the SCP-173 and 650 containment chambers. Oh, what's the deal with this? Why are we here? Alright, let's go in here. Whoa. And epic music to continue with this. Holy crap. Wow. What is the point of this? Ooh, it's giving me shivers now. <laughs> is this an elevator? Ah, it is an elevator. Nice. Can we go up? Oh, we can go up. Uh-oh, I didn't save before I went in the elevator. I cannot save at this time. Oh, dear. Sub-level one. I've always had a fascination with SCP Containment Breach. Uh, back when I first played it, it was like, Oh, it's a horror game, and it's free! Yay, I could play that and get more views and whatnot. But, uh, as time went on, I actually fell in love with the game. It's not always about the game itself, it's always about the story, the characters, the monsters. And it's kind of awesome, really, to see this back in action. Is there, like, an objective I need to do? Like, um, trying to escape besides that? the little fishies! Look at you, you adorable little sh Archival storage, staff offices... Is that important? It sounds important. Let's save. Go in. Oh, loading new cluster. Please wait. Okay. Hello? Radical Larry? Peanut? Are you here? Alright, save again. Ah! Oh. My vision flickered for a second. Staff offices... Archival storage. I think I need to go to archival storage. Hello? 
Uh, anyone in here? Pizza delivery. I'm here to deliver three meat lovers and one pineapple. Under construction. Oh, is this, uh, the stairwell, I think? I, I... You sack of crap, you bastard! Oh my god, that scared the absolute crap out of me. I was like, huh, is that my shadow? And then I immediately turned to the right and there he was, saying hello. He's still there. Yeah, he's still there! Oh my god, he's right- he was right in front of my face saying hi. I really want to wait for a bit. Oh god, I'm an idiot. Why didn't I go? Oh god, Radical Larry! Hi! Hi! Go away! Go away, Radical Larry! I didn't say it before. Oh god! Wait, I know this. No! Come on! Yeah! I remembered! I remembered! <laughs> Ooh, no! Type 48 Advisory Notice. Following the disastrous security event last August, the administrator of Site 48 has decided to update the facility's security protocol accordingly. It has been deserved that some security personnel have found on the premises with their issued RFID security cards. Furthermore, the fellow staff have allowed them into restricted areas. Please note that it is mandatory for all Foundation personnel to have their valid security passes at all times while on Foundation-owned property. Personnel who have lost, misplaced, or otherwise are not in possession of their security passes or expired the Validity of the security passes are advised to apply for replacement cards in a prescribed form available at the main security office located on sub level one. Oh, he's not here anymore. So I think you need to go here. Right? Oh god, another elevator! I cannot save at this time. Where? Oh, hi. How are you? Having a lovely nap? Perfect. Document SCP-169. 682. Isn't 682 the uh, unkillable crocodile? Hello? Oh! Aw, oh, I wanted more! Aw, oh, what in the hell? Uh, I'm just gonna leave that there. Hi. That's a ghost duck, right? Oh my god, it's the candy! Right? It's the candy. Take two at a time, right? Otherwise you lose your hands. SCP-330. What does that say? Take no more than two, please. You got it, buddy. One, two. <laughs> See, I follow the rules, unlike some idiots. 983. What's 983? Oh, the monkey. Isn't that the one that makes you age or something? All right, you know what? I'm going to do this. I've been recording for an hour. I have five months. Feel the urge to hum along with the monkey's song. Oh no! Oh god, no! He's becoming more decayed! Oh! Regular 983 candy. Thank you, buddy! Oh, that's lovely. Thank you. You know what? You know, you're okay. I thought you were going to kill me with old age, but you know what? You're okay. That was actually kind of a weird experience, and I think I'll leave that mostly uncut, because that was horrifying. Ah, SCP-983. Here we go. SCP-983 is a vintage mechanical monkey with a faded date located on the bottom of the left foot, placing its manufacture at some point in the 1940s. Good year. Actually, no, it's not a good year. I lied. It's a horrible year. The monkey is dressed in the remains of what used to be a popular vest designed for circus ringmasters. In the monkey's left hand, there is a lightly tarnished brass bell. The monkey is capable of emitting speech and sound, although examination of the object has revealed no seams screws or openings that will indicate a method of disassembly. Duh, because it's alive. SCP-983 is completely harmless and inert under most circumstances and may be handled without special precautions so long as the handler is not experiencing the 24-hour period considering the, the anniversary of his birth. Each verse done by SCP-983 appears to age the owner of the item, but why, what is estimated at one year? Yeah, we have SCP-33- Radical Larry. Oh sh- Radical Larry! Oh god! Oh my god! I panicked there! Go up, d d down, 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 down! Don't come in here, buddy! 